Minato is an overrated piece of crap character. Now, I do understand the love that comes his way, but I have some gripes with his character that I don't see that many people talk about. I feel like that if I mention the flaws that are brought about into question, people are just gonna find a way to spin that around. Well, he's a cool character, so shut up. And to me, that wouldn't be a healthy discussion about the character, so I have someone on the line that may have an opposing opinion on the character, but can promptly give a good counter argument as to why my flaws with his character aren't really flaws. Here I have with me, King of Chaos, another youtuber friend of mine say what up to the people yo everybody it's your boy king of chaos here with the curly haired okage loving our time here discussing minato thanks for having me of course of course and guys we already did another collab with another character itachi on his channel so be sure to check that yeah. out video in the description below and i'll most likely annotate it at the end as well but today we're talking about minato who i think is an overrated character and more so an overrated character in comparison to itachi so before we get into the questions let me ask you king of chaos what are your overall opinions on Minato? Do you think he's ranked fairly? Do you think he is a bit overrated, underrated? How do you personally perceive his character? Overall, I would say that Minato might get a tiny bit, and I mean a very tiny bit of gas, in my opinion. Because, mm -hmm. like, from what I've seen, he, he's kind of lived up to some, you know, a good amount of the hype that we got from him. Although I think some of the characters in the future <laughs> kind of ruin his shine a little bit. But I think overall, he's a pretty, he gets about the credit he deserves. Okay, okay, that's, that's a fair assessment and we'll, we'll we'll delve into like the little bits that you said pertaining to like characters overshining him later on and some questions later on. But the first question I do want to bring up is that in the beginning of the series, like since day one, he was propped up as the series' main guy, like this person to shoot after. But, you know, he technically becomes second fiddle by the time Shippuden comes around, you feel me? Especially with Hashirama coming about. Like we know since the beginning of the show, he was the quote unquote top shinobi, top at least hokage you know at the time but you know over the time we get other characters just outranking him so that wouldn't be a complete issue to me personally but more so with how people perceive minato i think it's because of like at least one of the reasons it's because of that like that he's being gassed up in the show in comparison to like how he's shown in shippuden i feel like it's not warranted considering that there are other characters that are above him in my eyes so what do you think of that so i think that one of the biggest problems we face is that shippuden kind of threw a lot of things for a curveball i mean let's be honest here i feel as though regardless of what kishimoto says that there are certain elements of the story that hadn't been fully um thought out you know the ending tying in madara later it's it's more so the fault of the hype surrounding characters like the fourth okage and the reanimation jutsu in general that brought about you know the fourth okage the second okage the third okage, all the kage is coming back in characters from our past because of that you now have to re-look and assess at the characters and their strength you know if Madara was gassed up as like being the big baddie that everyone thinks is still alive and he's reanimated well his rival was Hashirama it wouldn't really make sense if you know he was this strong but then he would have lost to Obito in the past yet he beats Madara so to me I feel like some of the times with these characters there's hyperbole you know the strongest shinobi of the air the strongest of their times and sometimes characters get, you know, like certain things are taken out of context, I guess is what I'm saying, when it comes to the overall power. I just feel like when you, you give characters like that, you know, the, uh, the titles of the professor, the strongest shinobi, the god of shinobi, like even Haruzen was called that. I think that more than often, either the characters are basing it off of their era, you know, they're considering their time, you know, similar to the, the strongest when, you know, you wouldn't refer to the strongest of all time, you'd be referring to the strongest that's within your reference. Either that or Kishimoto straight up just forgot about it. <laughs> you know, honestly, like it's gotta be one of those two. Uh, but I don't think that's Minato's fault. Yeah, no, I'm not blaming Minato in of himself, just more so the surrounding factors. Like the people in the show gassing him up and then people outside the community. But mainly for the people in the show, especially in part one, like with Hiruzen, and this goes into part two of the question, we'll get into it a little bit, but like, remember like when the Hokage were being revived by Orochimaru, the first Hokage and second revival were already revived, but then and the third coffin, which was supposed to be Minato, Hiruzen was like, oh no, this is the one I have to stop, like, no matter what, you feel me? But then, like, especially, again, we'll get into the retcon in the second question, but, like, you think of that scene, and it's like, oh, if he was brought back, he definitely would have caused some stuff to happen. But, like, you look at what transpired, like, we we saw the first Okage, but he eclipses Minato, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in later of the show, so it's like, why wasn't Hiruzen given that same energy when Hashirama, or even Tobirama was brought back? Not saying Tobirama, was better that, than Minato. Actually. Oh yeah, go ahead. 
Okay, so I think what could be a possibility here, and this is just my speculation, I think that Orochimaru was only able to bring them back to a power that was relevant to that of his own. Mm -hmm. Like that could be the that could be the only explanation I can think of. Because if we remember correctly, Minato was supposed to be sealed with the Reaper Death Seal in the first place. Mm -hmm. So to me, I can oh, I'm hoping that no one's gonna say that like it was secretly moderate or something. Which I mean, I guess if we're you know going off of what it had to have been, it couldn't have been Minato because he sealed the three for Death Seal, blah blah blah. But I think that maybe it, it's more so that they couldn't bring them beyond their level because I don't I didn't see anything that the Hokage did that put them beyond Orochimaru. And I don't think any of us would say that you know Orochimaru scales to the Akage. Yes, the only reason not. they even beat Haruzen was because you know he was you know ten years older than he should have been according to Kabuto. He stated that if he was ten years younger, or maybe it was Orochimaru, that they would have lost to him. And he was still considered the strongest Kage of all the Kage that were alive at his time. You know that includes the Rai Kage, the Mizu Kage, the Shucha Kage, which is crazy to think of. So the only reason I could think that it, if it was Minato he was referencing there, which I mean I'm not even gonna be disingenuous. I do think that he was referencing Minato there. I mean I do. It has to be like th there's too many context like clues. It. But if he was, I think that the only answer we can get was that hey, he can only bring them back to an appropriate level as strong as they were. And the only reason that Kabuto was able to do more was because of the the Zetsu bodies or maybe the the Hashirama cells he had access to. That's my only answer. And if so, then I would deem it valid. In fact, I think I did see recently that was the case, but like it wasn't concrete evidence oh, I'm not that sure. that was the yeah, case. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not yeah. saying it's concrete, but like it would if that's confirmed, I would be more so fine with it. You feel me? Yeah. As to why first Hokage and second Hokage were as strong as that you know they were yeah, obviously all their jutsu even like that they were using i know the flying raijin is supposed to you know use a lot of chakra or whatever and you know toby rama chakra levels are under exaggerated but like it would make no sense otherwise that he couldn't use that or the kunai technique i mean he knows a, a, what how many jutsus does toby rama know isn't he supposed to know like like a bunch like he invented what? more jutsu than most shinobi in the world know so that's just how i see it didn't he invent like shadow clones the even the reanimation mm -hmm. jutsu like mm -hmm. he like he he, he knows his stuff yeah like he could use which which raises the question according to modern if you know the hand seals to get out of it, you can escape it. So, like, I mean, how come he, the guy who invented it, mm, let me, let me run. I don't want to derail us too much. I, well, that's a, ooh, that's a good question. Actually, I think I have an answer for that, but we'll say that for a different oh, conversation. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, let me just say, like, uh, why would he raise himself back from the dead, though? Like, he has no reason. Like, to he break, doesn't. Yeah, to break free, you know, don't let Orochimaru but, do his thing. Yeah, you know, but, break out of, but like, time. You're, you're messing with life at that point, and then also, like, you know, he he gets brought back, like, he gonna kill himself afterwards. Like, he has no reason to live. He wasn't saying that for Sasuke when he was like, you Uchiha brat. He was gonna hit him with the, you know, the, the, the one man special there. Where he lifted one finger, Piccolo style, like a special bean cannon. He said he's gonna end him. And Orochimaru had to, you know, suppress his power a little bit more, which. Roark Orochimaru, it, it would make sense if that was the case, because Roark Orochimaru is a lot stronger now at that point, because he has the same access to the Hashirama cells and the Zetsu body when he reanimated them. So that could also, that could be the, the case. It, it's simply that he couldn't bring out their full power. You feel me? Like, it's not a terrible, like, conclusion oh, yeah, to base it off of. Oh, yeah, proof, it, it's kind of, it's kind of sus that yeah, Mito it, got it's, that way. Because it's implied it's him. Like, let's all tell the truth. Yeah, it, it's, there's no way you can convince me that it's anyone else. Because otherwise, otherwise, what was the point of that him? scene? No, exactly. it, yeah, no, he wasn't referencing to like the final valley where you see a statue. Like you don't Boom. know. Boom, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. the, the argument of being Madara, I don't know. I'm not seeing that, right? I have never seen an argument for that, and there's no way you can make it work. There's literally no way. <laughs> Hey, y'all better hear him on this one. I'll better see him back in the comment section saying, well, technically. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no we're, we're not doing that. The, the context is. the closes. second point, though, y'all. Uh, but... yes. So, second point. My main thing is that, like, yes, it's, we're, we're at least, let's assume, safely assume that Minato was that, that person in that, supposed to be in that third coffin, right? Yes. It doesn't make sense if we go back to Shippuden, how we find out his soul was stuck in the Reaper Death Seal. So he couldn't have been revived at that point in in the first part of Naruto. So Now that is tough to defend, I won't even lie to you, because it doesn't make sense. Like everyone, think about what he's saying here real quick. You, the, the Reaper Death Seal is, is supposed to keep your soul away from going to heaven, right? That's the same reason that Kabuto wasn't able to bring them back the second time. And the only reason he, Orochimaru was able to is because he knew about the, you know, he could read the, the scrolls surrounding Reaper's Death Seals. But, like, that's definitely a retcon. It almost seemed like it was retcon to bring the Hokages back into it just because they needed an answer for all the baddies that they were facing. Exactly. Like, I don't want to have to blame Minato for that, but obviously, like, it's, it's more so, no, I see no one talking about it, really. Yeah, and that's and, a testament of his, like, power, too, in general, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, just that the fluctuation of it being either high, so high that the third Hokage wants to stop him from reanimating more than anyone, but also being so weak within the you know the 
Great Ninja War arc, that he's not even considered a threat or acknowledged by Madara once. Like, no one, does anyone find that weird? I never thought about that. Like, yeah, like, we again, it, it goes back to, like, he's not the main guy to root for or, like, to prop up anymore. It's basically Hashirama in, in comparison yeah. to, to Madara, because, like, think about it. Madara only gassed up Hashirama, and mm -hmm. rightfully so, he only knew of him. But, like, it, like you said, when Minato shows up, Madara doesn't really care for Minato like that. Like, it's only just about Hashirama. And I know everyone's going to say, oh, he only cares about Hashirama, but that's not true. He fought against Minato. He knew Minato was, and he fought against Guy and acknowledged him. But but Minato, gassed up from like the beginning of the series. And again, I know I'm supposed to be defending Minato here, but this is the point that I can't defend. You know, M M Minato, his legend was confined to his era, it seems like. And that's kind of like what I, I was saying earlier when I feel like these people are re when they're referencing the strongest. Otherwise, you do struggle to make sense of him being this big baddie that everyone's so afraid of that also doesn't even get acknowledged by the big baddie. I mean, he has the least amount of screen time fighting Madara than I think out of anyone. I think even, G uh, not Guy, um, Gara was probably boxing a little bit longer than him. In comparison to pretty, yeah, I, first of all, I barely I remember the fact when, I, I gotta rewatch the fight. Minato and Madara. Oh, yeah. I, I barely remember that even being a he thing. He only tries to hit him with a with a Rasengan one time with the Sage Mode, which I know I know you're gonna want to talk about at some oh, point. Yeah. I know we're gonna go point. into Sage Mode. That's, that's everyone's. That's, that's the next point. <laughs> but, uh, it, it's exactly that, you know. Minato is. I feel like he's confined within his era, but they do him. A, they did him a disservice. Like he got did dirty because he's only he's only weaker when you bring out people like Hashirama and Madara. Because if you think of the battlefield other than them, who else is really touching him? Although you could say that, you know, Toby Rama potentially was stronger than him since he escaped from Orochimaru's Reaper Death Seal, or he was attempting to break free of it, whereas Minato showed zero resistance. But again, that, that, that's kind of speculatory. You know, it, it, again, to me, just the, just the stupid retcon that I feel like most people don't, like, acknowledge. They just let it be just because, oh, Minato's back is like, you guys are overrating, overrating him a little bit. You're not giving, you're, you're giving him more leeway than I feel like you should at that point. Like, think critically for a second here and, like, be like, look, this in of itself is kind of dumb. Also, but. can we talk about his, his, just real quick. I want to say there is one point in the story where he does, he has a pretty impressive showing with his fights. Cause I know we're going to talk about like his transformations and other things that he got. They're kind of a little bit out of nowhere. His fight with Obito is a little bit underrated. I mean, think of it this way. That's a Mangekyo Sharingan, an ability he's never fought against. The first time he's seeing it, he's immediately, he's the first person to tag Obito we see in the series. Everyone else struggles with him. So again, I'm not saying that Minato is weak. I'm saying that Minato just got brought in in a different era. It's kind of like, it's a little bit of a fair of a comparison to bring him against people who are from a whole different era of power that he never had to experience. You know, you match the level of strength that you're near. And, and comparatively, Obito again being considered the big bad threat that everyone was within the series. So many people like the Raikage, the Hokage, all those people can take him. He did put him down. Like we got, we can't just gloss over that. I had to at least acknowledge that once before we get into some of the other stuff that's a little bit tougher. Minato oh, yeah, has no. put on some good showings when it comes to his overall abilities to fight people that others call tough, right? Oh yeah, let, let me let me put this on the record. I'm not, for, I, I, I say he's overrated, but he's nowhere near a bad character nor do i deem him weak it's it's more uh, like i first of all i love that fight uh minato versus like obito like before before he died that's granted that fight was short but like it was it was a like sweet, little skirmish but it, it had a lot involved yeah it was it was effective it showed minato's high iq like he was able to discern like obito's like jutsu like right then there's like okay i gotta do this boom boom, boom and then seal him with the tag mm -hmm. uh with the flying rising uh rasengan on level two like I, I i do prop up minato when it is warranted you feel me i don't i don't want you guys thinking like i'm just a fool blown hater that being said if you do i don't care but <laughs> you know it is what it is it's a cartoon at the end of the day but uh, that's an anime sir <laughs> Uh, yeah, whatever, bro. It's uh, pig, 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 pixels on the screen, bro. It's pixels on the screen, bro. You're you're angry about pixels. <laughs> oh, love that. Shout out to the pixels. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, and speaking of him being strong, that's gonna lead into my third point. Minato may be strong, but Warrock Minato has stupid buffs, specifically with KCM Minato and Sage Mode. All right. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm not sure if I brought this up and shot myself in the foot or if Curly like had already had this in the car. I don't remember when we were originally discussing like just our thoughts on this, but I'll say this. I've been thinking, and I think there might be some type of defense you can give here for this. And and forgive me, y'all. I know some people are gonna call me head can, they're gonna hate me for this, but I am on here to defend Minato and I gotta, I, I gotta put a little bit of points on the board for our boy right now. Curly's point is going to be surrounding Minato immediately being able to not subdue, but tame the nine tail beast. Now, when we discussed this, I initially thought to myself all right him being able to suppress the tailed beast immediately inside of him okay potentially i could see that happening you know especially after what we saw in the one shot i could see him maybe going in there for a quick skirmish but the fact that they were able to sync together and be on the same wavelength and their chakras able to meld and he didn't have a five limit timer like naruto which no one seems to notice <laughs> throwing that out there because it is not kcm1 
is def is definitively KCM2 because Karama is giving him the chakra. He's working with him actively. It's not him suppressing or controlling or drawing from his chakra. But my thing is this. Minato, although he does not come from a crazy clan, has high chakra levels. He's able to use the Flying Raijin, the Rasengan, high level chakra jutsus, and he is a sage, regardless of how we feel on that. So when it comes to his buffs, specifically KCM, I'm gonna touch that first. I think that there is a small possibility where we can validate this by saying that, hey, his overall chakra affinity and maturity puts him in the state of like Madara, where Madara is able to immediately take the Tentails Jubi, put it inside of his body and not go crazy like Obito. So maybe there's some chances for people like that to be able to just completely bypass it if they just have a strong ability, chakra control or whatever. And Minato overall, when you're looking at his character book stats, I believe he has fours and in, in everything at least. So I, I think that that's gonna be my defense when it comes to the, I'll only tackle him one at a time. I'm gonna start with KCM. That's my defense for KCM. Curly, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Am I valid or am I cooked here? Is your comment section gonna fry me up? You're low-key valid, and I thought about this recently. You bring up good points about his affinity towards like his chakra and all that, and like just yeah. like whereas Naruto's fighting it his whole life because you know he has to struggle hard because Karama's pulling against it. You know, we see that when he struggles to do things like battle clones, and Ibisu says that he uses excessive chakra. Yeah, again, my issue is just more so like you said, like it's KCM two Minato, technically speaking. Yeah. Karama like, I, when did they have a conversation inside the belly of the beast <laughs> talking about oh yeah no nah, i'm good now yeah uh, even though oh, i have no did. reason to no no they did it was like five seconds though <laughs> it you was see, like five seconds my son your son mastered me so i guess you can and that's where i'm gonna have to draw the line Let's, look it, that's good i can't defend that i can't defend you're that. giving him you're basically just giving him the powers he didn't really earn it at that point if that makes sense yeah. You like, feel me? Just, just to make, way. yeah, like, just to make him strong enough to compete with the dudes, like, in the war arc. Like, that's where I'm going to discredit KCM Minato. Not how he got it, but more so, or like, KCM, like, I guess part one Minato, but like, or KCM one, quote unquote, Minato, but KCM two, ain't no way yeah. in the war arc. I cannot vouch for that. Or like, his use, I should if say. He's a, and I, and I'm, I'm shooting myself in the foot here with this, but I got to keep it a buck, because, you, know, you know, a Chaos community member could be here watching. Like, hold up, you might, you're the king of coat, the king of cap. The fact that Minato, regardless of how he did it, the fact that they gave it to him and none of the other Hokages. I mean, you could say that it was a correction point for the story for Naruto. You can say that if you want to, but like the fact that he needed it, I mean, because he did, right? Like, let's keep it a buck. He transformed into it. The fact that he needed it, it's kind of disingenuous to his character. It's a slight towards him because if he was this badass, you know, sage mode, math, perfect sage, youngest Hokage with like math, inventor of the Rasengan, beater of the QB in a 1v1. Well, I guess with Kashima's help with the chakra rods, but he needed Karama's chakra. And it's not like he just pulled from it. Again, that's KCM too, because him and Karama have a conversation. So like, that's tough to defend. Him getting it and being able to do it, if he was able to suppress them, I could defend that. I can't really defend them giving it to him for the low, though. Yeah, no, and, and you actually bring up a good I didn't even think of this. Like, Minato basically needed that in the war to keep up with the other two Hokage that I'm didn't I'm the worst need at it. defending. I'm sorry, Minato fans. Y'all hate me. I like him, too. I love Minato. I got. I like him, but, like, I can't defend Cap. Yeah, no, this, the story paints it in a way. that I look at it, and I'm just like, no, like, I can't vouch for this. And I, he does need it. Like, you, you, we can't even Cap. I mean, they do the QB, Chakra, Father, Son, Rasengan. They do so many stuff, so much stuff together. It's like, there's no way we're going to pretend that he didn't need it. Like, I would need a D... I, I, like base to base i would need a detailed analysis as to how minato is supposed to beat against base Madara. like i i just i just need someone to fully explain that to me yeah because like if, he, if he's this hyped up i can make an argument that he's not even the third strongest shinobi i mean In, third strongest hokage so wait, you got naruto really, really, number one hashirama, hashirama number, two. number two although some people still argue that minato could win which no not I even mean, with kcm I through can... trickery, through tri hold up, not even KCM. Nah, let me, let me. Mm, we we could we could debate that later. I don't know about that now, because Naruto had as much chakra as Hash. Well, Naruto's Uzumaki though. Mm, okay, I think that I put Minato potentially behind Toby Rama just when it comes to experience and abilities, because Toby Rama's like forty or something when he dies, thirty. Minato's like twenty-four, and Minato knows more jutsus. And, and it comes to the, when it comes to the fights within the, the Great Ninja War, I don't know. I feel like Toby Rama does a little bit more impressive feats other than like the KCM stuff. I mean. Minato's biggest feat, again, is the Rasengan he does with QB. But after that, you got Tobirama with the multiple paper bomb explosions. You've got him utilizing the Flying Raijin to combo with Naruto. I mean, he just, he just shows a little bit more impressive. Again, he's a monster. I'm not saying out of 10 fights, he'd lose 10. But I, I, I definitely could see a world where, you know, we put him a little bit lower than some people when it comes to the strongest guy. Yeah, at least at their peak. I, I'm, I'm more so debating between him and yeah, Toby Rama. I wouldn't look at you sideways if you think the other way. Like, at most top three to me, though, I'm still putting oh, yeah. Hashirama and Naruto above him. Those are just like, oh, yeah, of speaking, I can't of even. Of course, of course. You know what I mean? Speaking of, Sage Mode. <sighs> <laughs> Go ahead, Curly. Cook with this. Look, there's no way I could defend Sage Mode Minato. 
like hey, the, the 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 concept of that is is just in of itself just like why like bring it into the war arc randomly number one and number two him being quote-unquote not good at it but like he's a, he's a perfect sage like what do you mean you're not yeah. good at it like there's no yeah, there's warts no on you you don't need the frogs or whatever the toes like and he's and he's just able to do what he does like i can't vouch for that i can't vouch for the you like if you were to tell me first of all there's no indication minato knew of sage mode or trained under the utilization of using sage mode like I, and there was no conversation or flashback with jiraiya to suggest that like he uh would train with sage mode or anything like that not to say that it couldn't happen but like again there was no like you didn't get an idea of that we knew of like him having the half the nine tail sealed in him all the way in the pain art so you could have known that there was a possibility that you know if minato was around like he could have gotten kcm which obviously he did so that at least makes somewhat sense sage mode i cannot vouch for simply it's it just stupid it, it, it specifically him being a perfect sage i just can't with this bro I just can't. Like, so, my issue is that they're, they're, it's a contradictory statement, right? You have Minato, who we've never had any indication, was somehow either taught Sage Mode by Jiraiya or learned it on his own again. If he was taught Sage Mode by Jiraiya, it makes no sense because why wasn't Naruto at least, like, notified? Like, hey, by the way, I have Sage Mode. Naruto knew nothing about it. He didn't even mention, I mean, sure, he didn't mention Minato as his father, but he could have, he mentioned Minato's Jutsu being the, you know, the Rasengan, how that was the fourth Jutsu and he created. Why not mention, oh, he also knew Sage Mode? Like, so I, I don't know. Secondly, with Kakashi saying that no offense, Lord Fourth, but yours isn't, you know, that impressive, and him saying he's not good with it, while also being a perfect sage, that's a contradictory statement. It doesn't make sense. We have people who scale below Jiraiya in sage mode, who have hurt Madara, who've hurt all these other people. Yet Minato, who's a perfect sage, which we're told a perfect sage is supposed to have mastery of sage mode, uh, you know, not having any warp features, yet he's weaker. That doesn't add up. And here's the worst part of it. It's not even so much that he has a sage mode and he's perfect and it's weak. The problem is his mixture of it with KCM. And I know you guys are gonna think here, oh, oh, chaos, what are you talking about? Why shouldn't he be able to mix it? Naruto can't, but Naruto couldn't initially. Naruto couldn't mix it because Karama didn't want him to mix mix sage mode with KCM because he didn't want to share his body with it. Now you can make the argument that yes, Minato, during the war arc, Karama and him are cool now, they're besties and he's all of a sudden, not only my, doesn't mind giving him chakra through the partnership mode, you know, partnership of KCM too, but he also doesn't mind sharing his body with someone who's not like super familiar with them. Like there's just certain parts about it that you can only give so much credit, right? And, and that's where my problem lies in. Minato can't both be a perfect sage and have less damage than someone like Rock Lee. Because if you remember, Rock Lee kicked through Madara in his Edo Tensei form. The same Madara who blocked punches from other people. The only person we saw do a feat like that was Tsunade when she punched him through, clearly. I don't even think we saw the Raikage like straight up punch his body and make it disintegrate and have you regenerated. And Lee did that with an enhancement from the QB Cloak. So if we're going to say that Minato is a perfect sage, then he has to be able to do more damage than all those other people. There's no way QB Cloak Rock Lee can kick through him. But I mean, KCM2, Minato with sage mode, can't even hurt him. But Naruto sage mode was enough to hurt Jubi, you know, Jubito. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. He got me on this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this, this, this was this one's rough for our boy Minato. If anybody has anything to defend this, let us know in the comment section. I'm very, I'm very interested in this. Because I got nothing for this one. Uh, I... It just doesn't make sense and it's not consistent. Again, it kind of goes back to the point of where he, he was saying that Minato needed these power-ups in the story. Now, could Minato have been a sage and I would have accepted it? Absolutely. 100%. That, that is not a goofy statement to me. Could Minato have mastered KCM in his lifetime? Well, he was alive. Absolutely. That would make sense. But where it's coming from now, I think that that's the biggest problem of contention with people who, you know, like Curly, who feel like he's a little bit wanked. Now, is this a wank? Yes. And people going for it and saying that it's, you know, it's, it makes sense. I feel like that's Link, but that's more of the people than, than you know, Minato. I, I, that's how I feel. What do y'all think? What do you think, Curly? Like, uh, I think we let Minato slide on this one. I, I don't know about this we. Like, I, I'm saying it right nah. here and there. Like, I'm not vouching for any of these power. Like, like you uh, can't let him slide on it. I personally cannot. Like, riding-wise, it just comes out of nowhere. KCM, I for sure remember, but I barely remember the fact that Minato even had Sage Mode. You feel me? Like, in, yeah. like it, it's, just, it's just like, why? It's so minuscule that, like, most people forget it happened. Which makes sense. Okay, I, I, I give you that then. So where, where where are we at then? It seems like so far in this, uh, I wouldn't say it's a debate, but this discussion, I I, I think Minato's kind of looking a little grim. But I, you, you got to admit, though, when it comes to his actual like performance in his era, 
what we've seen like the Mito one shot manga, what we've learned about his abilities, and the fact that he, even if we don't like it, was able to <laughs> become a perfect sage. You gotta give him a little bit more credit there. Like that, those are impressive feats, regardless where they come from. Yeah, like I said, it's not like I deem him like a weak character or anything like that. You feel me? Like Minato is strong, and at least before all this KCM sage mode crap in the war arc, I feel like what he was able to do was warranted. Like I didn't look at what he did, like say against Obito or like the little stuff that we've seen in like the Third Shinobi War was like stupid or anything like that i'm like okay this is valid based and it's true to his character like i'm cool with majority of what he did pre-war arc you feel me yeah during the war arc you have to make a really strong argument for me to even consider like oh yeah it's valid you know, oh yeah kcm2 is valid sage mode well, is valid question what if we saw in the minato one shot what if minato had mentioned even briefly oh i'm just practicing sage mode would that have been enough for you would you have been like all right or is that kind of still retconning it do you feel uh so uh, it's it's sort of like putting a a band-aid on the scar you feel yeah, me I see what you mean it's it, gone you can't see it but like it's still there it, exactly like it, it, this should have been shown beforehand but i get why like you're trying to make it work now which i i i, I would appreciate the attempt you feel me but the stain is still there you feel me like no i definitely I, I feel what you're saying that makes sense yeah, but going to our final point, and this is more so like a compare and contrast between two characters and how, why I like this character more in comparison to Minato. To me, he is, at least in terms of how he's shown in the show, the opposite of Madara, where it's show and not tell, like show and not tell works for Madara, but telling and not showing doesn't work for Minato. And what I mean by that is like, for like, like I've been saying throughout this entire video, Minato is being, we're, we're being told about these great things that Minato has done, especially in part one or, or not even told what he's done or like he's just being propped up to like this legendary status and we, we don't see a thing and the basic principle of like storytelling or whatever or like i think with like movies is like you want to show and not tell because like you get more engagement out of it right with madara throughout shippuden we know of madara's existence but we don't know a lick about him like we just basically hear his name from these certain people and it's like yo this dude is apparently this, this dude to be feared or something like that like for example when sasuke was suppressing the nine tails and naruto during the tenshi bridge arc and the nine tails was saying to sakura yo you remind me of this madara character like this that dude was a menace or whatever it's, it's like it's those little things and then like later on we see itachi was mentoring madara in his backstory we get to obito pretending to be madara and which goes into the five kage summit where people can't even confirm if that's the real madara but because like he just invoked the name is like yo we cannot mess around we're gonna start a whole war with this dude you feel me that's how much power a name had and then when madara showed up he actually performed and it exceeded what expectations we had he annihilated the fourth division it was just a little taste of what he's able to do and we go to like his fight against the five kage it was a spectacular fight and he was just a savage to me like he was like all right by the way would you like these five susanos to or would you like these five wood clones to use susano as well i'm like yo that is complete savagery and that up, stuff though? was shown to us as opposed to it being imagine being told like randomly in the story is like oh yeah i remember he was able to make five wood clones and they all did susano that wouldn't be as impactful as opposed to how it was in the show how it was shown to us you feel me that's what i'm trying to get at as in comparison to minato where again we're told these things and he has very few showings and that's why i cannot put him as high as a lot of people do and i think i feel like the difference with madara is that one antagonists always get more shine than than like tragic heroes i mean even, think of it this way Itachi was part of the story longer than Madara was, right? But I definitely think Madara was more impactful and had more of a shine, more of an impact on the overall story, even with Itachi being as prominent as he is. Right. I think that Minato, again, was brought back, a little bit of an afterthought, but his his feats are pretty impressive too. I'm pretty sure he's also defeated a thousand shinobis by himself as a teen. So like Madara, Madara's all, you have to keep that in mind too. Madara fought against scrubs. Like, let, let's just call it a thousand ants, a thousand shadow clones. When you're so strong, it's like Dragon Ball Z, Cell. When he, when he got so, he mentioned that when you got so strong, I think it's like 30% stronger than your opponent, you could basically dominate them. So Madara beat, you know, using huge AOE attacks. I, I, I don't know. Like that's, that's kind of like saying somebody so drops a Bijou Bomb. Cause a Bijou Bomb has the same effect as a Meteor at that point, right? For that same for the, the shinobi people so like the fourth I, I get your point but here's where i'm a counter you, you just you just said it yourself we, we were uh we were told that minato defeated like a like a thousand ninja during that war but we were never shown you get what i'm trying uh, to say okay you, yeah, you get what i'm trying to say yeah you have like, a point you have a point yeah it was the reverse order of him 
I still think that that's the antagonist syndrome, though, that he got. Like, he's got he's got a little bit more leather because he's the antagonist. Like, that's... Imagine... Mm, nah, I see what you mean, though. Like, it's, it's The delivery there does indeed make it seem like Madara... Madara was hyped up subliminally. Or no, he was underestimated. I think a lot of people underestimated him. And they overestimated Minato is what really happened. I mean, think about it. We didn't hear much about Madara until you said, like, what, the end of the... End of part one. Technically Madara speaking. didn't yeah. get brought up until Obito claimed to be him. It's like, I don't know if that's completely fair. Yeah. So going to your point, it's bit, like you said, Minato, we're, we're told about Minato. We're told about these feats that he has, which sound cool. You feel me? But like why I can't vouch or like prop him up so highly is because I'm being told these things as opposed to it being shown to me. And again, I'm not saying those feats aren't valid or, and not also like the feats that are shown aren't cool. But at the same time, I look I, and again, I'm comparing it to Madara and I'm just using Madara as, a, as, as someone I could use. Another. Yeah, they're both hyped up characters. I mean, like it's a fine comparison. But let me ask you this. What if it was the reverse done? What if Minato, instead of being told, we were told anything about him, you were just shown. Which I feel like you would have been more impressed then, right? Oh, yeah. No, I for sure would have loved him more. Like, but the if that's the case, hold up, hold up. If that's the case, isn't it less about him being, you know, it, it, it's more about, like, the hype that they delivered. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, that's why I deem him, like, overrated in the community. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, honestly, yeah. Cur I, I, Curly, I think, you, I think you got some, I think, I think you got some sauce on this because you got a point. It, it really does come down to the fact of how he was delivered. You know, Madara, like you said, was given the was given the ability to consistently, I mean, just exist in exile until they were ready for him. Minato was mentioned at every point. I mean, you throw around the word of everyone being a genius or being a professor or all that stuff. It's going to weigh your opinion on someone down, like, a little bit if, it, if, it's, if it's not shown enough. Or, like, yeah. you, you look at it later on, it's like, okay, well, this is cool. That's it? Yeah, you, you teleported? I mean, I, I wanted to see more jutsu. I wanted to see more, you know, uh, father-son moments. These are examples. This is, I'm not saying this is what I would have wanted specifically, but okay, I can see where you're coming from with that. Maybe he is a little bit overrated. Yeah, I mean, they, they could have handled his, his PR campaign a little bit better. That's definitely, that's it. I'll at least admit that. The PR for Minato was in the mud. Madara got it better. He was getting PR by somebody else impersonating him. Right, and like, if I could, <laughs> this might be a terrible comparison since you think Drake won the feud, but like, if you think about like how Drake is the top Got, I'm comparing Drake to Minato in this case. Well, yeah. he, dropping albums like every every year, you feel me? Like it's it's yeah, it's not a treat because we have it all the time. Exactly. Kendrick drops like one time every five years, and we're raving for it. Yeah, That's everyone sniffs his farts. <clears throat> it's oxygen. I, I get you. you no, know, that makes sense. Yeah, a little. It's, it's it's a scarcity mindset. Fondness makes the heart grow better. Okay. Uh, how's this? I will concede that that each, that, um, that Minato's one hit. He got a lot of ass pulls. Let's call it straight. He got a lot of ass pull power ups. I, I can't even defend it. But as far as his height, I'm gonna say that his PR was awful, but I feel like, again, if, if, if we're just going off of his feats and we knew nothing about him, I feel like he'd, he'd be much higher on people's lists, but he definitely didn't have a, the red the red carpet outing like he should have. Yeah, no, like like I said, his marketing campaign was just terrible to me. And like, again, had it not been for that, I would have like probably ranked Minato a bit higher for me, like personally. And like, not not to say like he's not high enough, at least to me, to me, to me after the Minato manga, I respect him more. And that's why he's like in, like, you know, A tier as being s being the highest a being second you feel me donzo's an s tier too for curly just so you guys know who what what oh yeah donzo he's your he's your favorite character in, in naruto I think. don donzo yeah. what donzo no you told me that you said you, you were happy he hates the uchiggers <laughs> oh hey no 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 that's that's sorry, crazy bro that is crazy oh uh, I mean, shout out Donzo, though. He's a good villain, you know. Oh, uh, we should definitely do a video on Donzo sometimes. Oh, yeah. How would you title it? The, uh, the, the, the mis, uh, Donzo, the misunderstood. Um, <laughs> wow. Great. Misunderstood is insane. Hey, he has some uh, valid putting us. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, man, like, overall, again, Minato to me, overrated. And not to say that he's a terrible character or anything like that. I just think people just need to look at him more objectively. Don't, like, let his feats sway you into, like, misinterpreting, like, how he was shown throughout the show. Like, truly, truly look. Look deep into your heart. And pinpoint the, the stuff that we know about Minato just from it being told to us. And, like, you know, is it really matching up how you feel towards him? That's that's all I want to put. But any uh, closing uh, statements for you, Chaos? No, I'm just happy to be here thank you all for having me i, I the minato fans feel like i didn't do a good enough job defending him hey that's fine but be sure that you defend him in the comment section show my boy curly some love uh, yes i need the algorithm to boost the, the video so definitely comment on the video but yeah man again i want to uh if i didn't say it already i want to thank chaos for coming through again the video on the itachi video will be linked in the description below and it should be annotated on the screen somewhere around here but yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys want to see like another video on like another character that you feel is overrated or just let me know who do you guys think is an overrated character and let me know in the comment section below 
I'll maybe pinpoint and maybe we can do another video on this and uh, you know go from there. Till that video or until next time guys, thank you guys for watching and have yourselves an amazing and blessed day. Peace.